Hi boys and girls. All right, it's time for another super exciting graph. Yay! All right, this time I'm returning to you to graph Nick's walk where he started at eight meters and went back to zero meters. And during that time, he walked really, really, really fast. As you can see from the data table, it only took him six 0.5 seconds we're in in his slow walk it took him 18 seconds so if we do the math for that it's about one third of the time so i'm thinking that this graph will be a whole lot steeper when we plot it out all right so let's get started and i can't st oh first of all let me go back over i made my y-axis i marked it with distance I made my numbers going up for my distance and we knew it was only eight meters. So I just went ahead and put the eight in. I wrote on the lines, not in the boxes, because remember your points are where the lines intersect, not in the middle of the box. All right, and then I put in 10 seconds, even though we only need six and a half. And I wrote those on the lines also. See how I wrote them right on the line as much as I could? because I don't want to make my point in the middle of a box, only at the crisscross where the x-axis lines and the y-axis lines cross. All right, so let's make our ordered pairs. x-axis is time, always on a distance time graph. y-axis is distance. Always remember the first number is the time number and the second number is the distance number and the time always crawls to the right and then the distance climbs up after you crawl to the right so my next coordinate is one seven the coordinate of after that is two six then three five Uh, then it's 3.54 and 4.3. 3.5 and 4 distance, 5 and 3 meters of distance. All right, the next one is 6 and 1, 6 seconds. At 6 seconds, we were at the 1 meter card. And at 6 and a half seconds, we were back to 0. All right, so now that I have my ordered pairs, my coordinates, I can graph them. Let's make the, yeah, there we go. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is graph the first one. And remember that the first number is the crawl across number. We're gonna crawl across zero. So we're gonna stay right on the zero line. And then we're gonna climb up eight. One, two, three, four, all the way up to eight. And put our decimal right there where the eight line and the zero line intersect. Then the next one is one seven. We're gonna crawl over to one and climb up to seven. The next one is two six. We're gonna crawl over to two and climb up to six. All right, the next one is three five. We're gonna crawl over to three and climb up to five. Then we're going to go to three and a half, which will be right here in the middle, and climb up to four. All right, the next one will be, is that right? Did I do that right? Oh, oh this, wait a minute. I forgot this was four. So it should be zero, one, two, three, three and a half, four. five, six. I think that's, I've made the data table a little bit wrong. All right, so now we were at three and a half and now we're going over to four. Let me do this again, over to four and up to three. Crawl over four and go up to three. Good, crawl over five. Crawl up to two. Okay, that's what I did wrong. And then I forgot to make that a two. All right, and then one, 
and 6.5 and 0. All right, so then it goes over to 6 and go up to 1. And then 6.5 is right here at the 0 line. Now, looks to me like we made a much steeper slope than last time. And essentially, I'm just going to connect both the zero time or the zero distance right here and go up to the eight distance. So you can see how much steeper the diagonal is from a fast constant to a slow constant speed, right? This one is a very fast speed because it's steep. And this one is a much slower speed because it isn't steep. Not equal to steep. Is equal, not equal. All right, so I really want you to keep in mind, because this is important for next week's work, that you're able to realize that a steep slope is a fast speed. When Nick walked really fast, he only took six and a half seconds to walk the eight yard or meters, and that made the slope much steeper because he got there quicker. Imagine, y'all, if Nick walked even faster, and let's say he got there in four seconds, Let's make it three. Let's say he just booked it and ran. And he made it in three seconds. Look what that would look like. Look how steep that would be. Right? Just like if he took even longer, it would be even less steep. So the faster you go and you graph it, you get a very steep slope. All right, and we shall end this one here. Thank you for being a good audience while I figured out my little situation with the uh, data table. Y'all are the best.